I told you I had a secret that I was ashamed of, but I wanted to tell you about it, you'd be curious. Who am I? A hero who will conquer the world in ten minutes. Oh. Find love, a great tragedy in ten minutes. <laughs> well, usually. No, behind that, just. Behind that, the writer of this play. Now, this secret, I know, you could think it's not a real confession. But it's only short and sweet, it's all a performance. I believe this story in ten minutes, I'll believe another story, and I'll never think of it again. But think for a moment. What if this wasn't just a story? That I was telling you the truth about this woeful secret? Why tell you? This is a stupid way of confessing, but it still gives me some catharsis. In a way, the stage gives the writer patient confidentiality. Speaking through this actor, I can say anything, confess hideous crimes, because it's a stage. In unity, you see. I am a liar most of the time. I don't mind admitting it. Writers make things up. It's our job. But we're all liars one way or another. Hands up, he's never told a lie, not a single one, good or bad, their entire life. Hmm? I don't see many hands. Some words come here to weave amazing fantasies, but my words are here because they are leaking. They are leaking from my head and my conscience. So if this is my cowardly attempt to come clean, to confess to you here, you see before you, and a fine actor they are too, I'm not ad-libbing this actually in the script, <laughs> is my mouthpiece. I can make her say anything. Custard! Knickers! I'm attracted to that guy in the front row and I don't want my husband to know. <laughs> see? Anything. I can make this actor move as well. Oh. Custard! 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 Oh. I don't know why I picked that. Seemed funny when I wrote it at 11.17 a.m. on the 30th of July of last year. Yep. Still in bed at 11 a.m. Anyway, I confess these words to this actor. Let them look me in the eye and ask me if it's true. And they agreed to speak my words. Why not actually confess in the church? I'm not of that faith. Why not tell the police? It's far too late for that, and they can't help the people who were hurt at the time. Why tell you at all? Well, I both do and don't want my secret to be out there. I feel like this exposure in front of 80 strangers is kind of release. Let me explain. It happened in a city called Stoke-on-Trent in England. Look it up. Back when I was a stupid student. I was with my friends and we were messing about them. We climbed into this back garden of this house owned by an old man. And we always dared each other to climb garden fences and stuff. Anyway, the man came out and chased us. And he caught me. My friends got away, but they saw me being dragged back and scolded. He said he'd call the police. I, mean, I tried to act cool, but I was shocked and scared. Eventually, he let me go, but I felt really humiliated. My friends said I should go back just to prove that I could. I think they felt embarrassed for me. I did. I went back. He had this pile of wood near his back door, and we were always lighting fires and stuff. I, I had a lighter. I found some paper to put under it. It worked pretty well. I climbed behind the garden fence and watched from there. The man was supposed to come out all angry and put it out, but I guess he wasn't in. It went a lot faster than I thought it would. Where's the fire? There. Oh, the kitchen room. And then 
kitchen all the time. That's when I realized I didn't want to be caught anywhere near there. So I ran away. I felt sick. My friends, they told me about it the next day. They saw it in the newspaper. They burned half the house. It gets worse. I stayed in those for several days. The old man was devastated. He had to go live with his relatives. Apparently he had depression and it made it worse. I never went back to the house. He was trying to look at it. He never even went outside. He just... Not long after that, his family came to his life. They all asked if it was me. And the first time I said no. And then I had to keep saying no. And the more times I said it, the easier it was to say. And the more awful it would have been if I finally said yes. Have you ever been stuck in a lie? I mean, the original thing might be unimportant now, but it never really goes away. And you can't turn it back and say you were wrong all along. Maybe you can. In an unusual confession. In the world of storytelling. A time and place where lies are expected. Even well. Nice one, serious thing. And I'm exploiting it to create an experiment in drama. Even adding a bit of humor, which is in a way sick. Thus I am a liar, as I said. I'll be in the audience, by the way, watching this. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> After the show, the actor is going to keep a score of whether people think I did it or not. Tell them what you think. Khufu will turn the lights down now. It's not the end of the performance. Just listen. It's interesting how with nothing to see, you listen more closely. Even if you want to believe this is all a story, you can't deny the possibility that I did do it. And making a play out of confessing is, well, unusual, cowardly, but possible. You can hear a pin drop. Listen. And now what you hear loudest is the voice in your head wondering, did the writer really do this or not? Afterwards, think about these little 10 minutes we'll share here. One day next year, one of you will ask, Remember that weird play that won the competition? <laughs> <laughs> only joking, judges! <laughs> this is the only time I get to talk to you, so... Hi! <laughs> We're almost at the end now. When this candle goes out, it'll be the end. If you found this play interesting, clap louder than you've ever clapped before! <laughs> Writers use theater to say something they hope is entertaining or interesting. Well, maybe it doesn't matter so much anymore. The people concerned aren't around or don't care. Then what are we doing here? Well, you're deciding whether something can be confessed on a stage. 
not forgiven, but heard, strangely, that still seems important to me. Maybe I should be giving money to a charity for people who suffered house fires. But instead, I'm self-indulgently writing plays about how bad I feel. Poor little me! <laughs> Let me be clear. I deeply regret what I did. I can't change it. But what if you went home tonight and told someone a big secret you wish you could set free? Why not? I have. At least one of you has one. A big secret. And in a way, you'd be part of this. You came here to watch some plays. Why not be part of this one? Would it be a tiny bit of good that came out of this? Imagine using a play to confess a real crime. Well, as I said, I am a liar. <laughs> but was I lying when I said that?